Dad. Um, I'm going to put my shades on because there's too many stars on this episode tonight. Obviously, we're not doing our normal episode. We're just going to uh, have a quick flashback of what we've had so far. We're nine episodes in, boys. I mean, let's let's have a look back at some of the highlights so far. We need to talk about number one highlight is when Tux rattled Marcus Ben. Tux, how are you feeling after that, mate? Um, well, as I said at the time, um, my head was torn off. Um, but I'm glad to have my head back with another hat on it. Um, and yeah, just, just grateful to be here, boys. You've gone for the conventional East End attire tonight as you're in your, your flat. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've just got to, you know, dress for the occasion, I suppose. Um, I'm very much at home here. Um, you've got a can of red stripe next to you. Yeah, kind of red stripe somewhere. It's just in the fridge, not next to me. But yeah, it's um, yeah, I'm enjoying life, you know. Yeah, that's good. It's good to hear. Um, armchair's back. Um, what's going on, mate? Because we, you know, in all of these episodes, I think you've only had what is it? You've only had two appearances so far. We're going to talk about the no shows, are we? I mean, you know, we can't talk about the no shows because technically they're still coming on the channel. Oh, I don't know. I think. Um... I think they got a bit rattled here and here and how we done with Mark Spent, you know. Again, I, mean, in, I felt fairly fairly violated after after that. Uh, yeah, news travelled fast in football, mate. I heard. <laughs> but yeah, obviously we, you know, uh, we announced the ending of uh, our previous channel, Ipswich Fan Zone, and uh, that's coincided with uh, where we are now, boys. But um, I'm enjoying it so far, aren't you? Uh, I've got a question. Go are on. you uh, are you still doing Ipswich Town match day vlogs? <laughs> well, you know, as for the hundreds of messages I've already already received, I'll just make it even more clearer. No, we're not doing any more Ipswich Town content. And I know we mention that a lot on this channel, but that's just to highlight the hard work we've done over the last few years to no avail. I'm so, going to set my um, I'm going to set my reminder to um, to un unsub. Once it just if just stuff stops. Okay, that's that's Tim Pot, mate. I can't believe you said that. But um, I just want to let everyone know I did actually have a payout. Yeah, massive payout. Um, yeah, but I can't that's, really. That's why you got the sunglasses on. What was it? Too big for us now. Wasn't it uh, vouchers um, from HMV? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, and I can only buy um, vinyls with those vouchers, unfortunately. It's a bit and different. I don't have a vinyl player. So, boys, so far, who's been your favourite? person, ex-player, manager, you know, anybody that we've spoken to so far, who have you enjoyed? Let's we'll start with you, Bex. Uh, Simon Grayson was very good. I liked him. Good lad. Uh, wouldn't mind him down at Portman Road at some point. Very much swayed me. Um, might be a bit biased because we've spoken to him, but no, very switched on guy. Probably perfectly sort of manager we want at the minute, to be honest. I mean, as but, soon as he uh, mentioned that he'd had four League One promotions, I was like, where can you sign the contract, mate? Yeah, exactly. Um, who knows? He might actually be manager by the time we talk, that this comes out, but you never know. Um, but yeah, no, we've had some good guests, I think. Um, you know, a wide variety of guests. They've all been good in different ways. Um, bit of a car crash when Andy's been on, but that's that's a different matter. But, you know, it's been smooth sailing. It's just been tucks and becks. You can't split us up because we just... We just roll like clockwork. You know, I feel sorry for Andy at this point because, you know, being being sat in that armchair, he has to, to put up with all of this. But I'm sure he's going to get a scoop at some point. I mean, Andy, the one the one that you have done, obviously Rob Lee, huge, huge player for Newcastle back in the day. And uh, Marcus Bent, uh, a Premier League striker of sorts. Um, you know, you didn't ask the all-important question, though. What, what, what does it feel like to be tasered? Why didn't you ask him? You know, I thought both of those um, ones I've done so far that I always have to ask all the hard questions. And you lot, you lot just go through early career, um, what you're up to now after you know retirement, and I get stuck with difficult ones, which I don't mind. But um, I showed my sensitive side there and uh, decided not to ask about the taser. Although I would like, I would like to know what is what it feels like. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> So I'm sure it could be arranged if you just, um, I don't know, do something worth tasering before uh, before we go to, go to America. 
Yeah. I, I wouldn't comment on that, Andy, if I were you, mate. Uh, Tux, what have you enjoyed so far, mate? I know you've uh, you've uh, you've spoken, you've been on every single episode along with me. And um, what have you enjoyed? Um, I think if we take it right back to the beginning with uh, John Solarco, um, he spoke very well. Um, a lot of the players that already have um, media experience, i.e. Solarco, um, who else has been about sort of you know Rob Lee. Um, uh, we've also got you know other players to come that have had media experience after their careers. So it's been good to talk to them. They know what they're talking about. Um, but yeah, it's obviously been good to speak with current players as well. Uh, one of the recent ones we've done, Mark Pugh, spoke really well. Really nice guy. Um, and another personal favourite of mine was Keanu Marsh Brown. Um, you know, he's a really nice fella as well. So um, yeah. Yeah, and have you you sorted out your world clocks, mate? I know we made a joke about it, but just tell everybody what actually happened. Well, um, I got a bit confused with the time differences. And when I say confused, I mean I forgot. Um, I can't remember what play it was now. I think it was Keanu Marsh Brown, actually, wasn't it? It was Keanu. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Um, so I think he was either, you know, I can't remember what country he was in at the moment. Um, but yeah, uh, got got a bit confused with the time difference. Um, and yeah. Um, it turned out all right in the end. He was actually he was in the UK in the end, but I, you know, no, he was actually in America. You do know that, don't you? Oh, was he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't even remember now. He referenced it three or four times when we spoke to him. I remember. Can't Look, remember. Tim Pop, Tim Pop mistake you can make early on in the business, mate. You know, seasoned professional sitting here, you know, with my shades on. It's nice to see you boys actually asking the questions for once because, you know, by the time by the end of my oh, time on well, well, really. I was I was pretty much exhausted. You know, I let Mark Beck have a have a go on the mic. I mean, I was only going to allow him. But if, if you listen back to the uh, Mark Spent one, you will find uh, Mark Spent asking us questions, which is yeah. a really interesting part. Yeah, he, he wanted to become part of the team, but you know, um, too strong a client to come on the channel. Too good looking, he'd, he'd you know knock me off my perch. So can't have that. So um, in terms of where we are now, boys, we're looking at episode ten. Um, Hopefully that'll be a good one. But um, should we sign off and let everyone else listen? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs>